everyone, welcome back. It's Carrie at Keep It Simple DIY, and today we are starting the seeds outdoors for the first time of the season. It's currently April 17th, and I am in Colorado in Zone 5B, and so I'm going to be starting our cold, hardy crops. So I have a few potatoes that I've been letting grow, and I will cut these and throw them in the ground. I'm going to be putting some radishes outside, some carrots outside, I also want to fertilize my new, well, I guess they're not new, my blueberry plants that I got last year, and we're just going to have a great time. So I'm going to start by cutting these potatoes, and then we'll go outside, and we'll get the show on the road. I'm only going to be planting one small three and a half by three and a half foot bed of potatoes. So I have three different potatoes here and what I'm going to do is cut them each into, well let's see, I was thinking thirds and do nine, but do I want to do something different? Maybe I will do fourths and do 12. So let's do that, let's do fourths. And now not all of these have sprouted yet on all sides. Like these two sides won't have them. I know I probably should have cut them a while ago, but you know what? Better late than never. We're going to cut them now and they'll do the rest in the garden. Uh, that is a no-go. That is so rotten. All right, I thought that one felt funny. We are going to just throw that away, rinse our knife off. All right, let's do this one. Much better. Well, now we only have two potatoes and the other ones in the fridge just aren't shriveled or ready enough. So what do I want to do here? This is eight. And what could I do if I wanted to do nine or 12? Let's, hmm, let's do this. Let's cut this one and let's cut this one like this. I'm trying to leave an eye on each of these. These ones didn't have eyes though. Let's cut them. How many do we have? We have, did I just do that into eight? So now I have 12. Okay, that's how many we wanted. Do I wanna do 16? <laughs> Do I want to? It can't hurt, right? We're doing 16. Gotta love it, gardening. You just go with the flow and do whatever you want. We'll see how this turns out. All right, we have 16 pieces and let's go put them in the bed. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, Everybody just do your thing Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good I added some fertilizer to this bed last, or two nights ago because it was going to rain and snow So now I'm just going to break the soil up a little bit so that I have room to get my potatoes down in there Actually, it's not very compacted anyways. All right, let's throw them where we want them. And I'll do one there. Four, one. Got them laid out and I'm going to just put them in. I 
I need to go grab the hose so we can water those in. All right, this bed here is for my spinach. And, you know, I haven't hardened off my spinach. I'm not sure if I have to do that with a cold weather crop. So I'm going to try just putting some spinach in here. And then I'll also add some seeds. And we'll see how that goes. Move but in circulation One step at a time Yeah, that's how you make it Set a goal you control And the steps you take them I try to pick one thought Have some concentration And if I make a mistake It's called education I try to do this every day Call it replication Wake up Today's gonna be a good day 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 Wake up, Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, y'all. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, y'all. Negative thoughts are poison, they ride. Uh. Head full of flowers, so here come the clouds. Uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost uh, Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaken, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes damage I got this acid mix for my blueberries, so I am going to put that on them right now This bed's going to be mostly carrots up to the end, and then we will have some other vegetables come summer. I'm going to see how this goes with the carrots that I'm going to transplant, and worst that happens is they don't survive. I know that I like to do it cause it's a sensation. I live my life in my head like a narration. Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it. Wake up, today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna 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 be a good day. I need to grab some watering cans because my hose won't reach over here. I'm just going to do that on my own. The last thing I'm going to plant are some radishes over in this corner. I've never grown radishes before, so this will be a first time for me. I'm only doing a little bit. Well, let's just rip it open. Usually I wouldn't be using gloves for this, but I'm in the middle of cooking as well inside and I just, I didn't want to have the hassle of getting all the dirt out of my fingernails. So this is how we're doing it today. The last thing that I want to do is start some celery. I actually 
I bought celery on Amazon because I didn't think I had any and then I found that I did, but I'm quite a bit late to planting celery. Celery should be planted about 10 weeks before the last frost date and our last frost date is in, let's see, um, probably about five weeks. That's all right though, better late than never. And I'll water these in when I bring them inside and I'll stick them in the grow area. I'm just going to add some soil. The soil's really dry. And then I'm going to sprinkle the seeds on the top and add a little bit more soil and call it a day. Interesting. And celery needs light to grow. So I'm glad I know that before I'm going to be starting the seeds. So we'll stick them up where the grow lights are. Well, I need to add more to it. That's going to be that one. Now I've grown this Utah tall celery before, but I grew it and it was a MI Gardener seed packet. So hopefully this one does just as well. Last year though, I planted mine a little too late and they got bitter. Um, but I cut them back and then the next growth that came was fine. All right, let's see. Add a little more soil here. I'm going to bring these inside, stick them on the grow lights, and I will show you when we get in there, but I did want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me today. As I planted in the garden for the first time of 2023, I enjoyed being here with you, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.